All right, guys, so I did cut my hair about a month and a half ago, and so I've been learning how to restyle my hair. I did do a recent tutorial of my long curls, but now that I have cut my hair, I have to change up a bit the style of how I was curling my hair before and get right into the tutorial. So, so I am working with probably second day hair. It's not looking its best, you know, but here we are. So I'm going to brush it out. It's looking a hot mess. I'm just using, you know, just use your like regular comb or whatever you like. So before I kind of would work from the back and then it'd be pretty quick. But now that I cut my hair shorter, I have actually broken my hair into three sections. So I'm going to start off breaking my hair into a lower section. And I'm using this handy dandy glove. I'll be using a wand. I haven't used a wand in forever and I started using my wand again once I had short hair because it was just easier. Split my hair into a small section and then I grab my wand and I basically do what I used to do before which is wrap my hair around, count for like five seconds to be honest with you, wrap it up, pull, and that's it. I don't want it to really get curly so when I'm done with the curl I just kind of pull it down just to like make it a little more effortless. I don't really want to make this really, really curly. I kind of just want to make it loose curls. So that's what I do and flick it back. And then I grab my hair again and do the whole process again, which this time I'm going forward, doing the same thing, holding it for like five seconds and then doing that, letting it go and then pulling it down. So it's going to be like more relaxed and going back. And that's what I'm going to do throughout my hair. So let's speed up this process. Doing the same thing on this side, but you know, just alternating curls. Pulling up, pulling down, letting it fall, and then just kind of pulling it apart basically. And that's what I'm gonna do in each section. Fun. When I get to the pieces towards my face, I usually go away from the face. It just, you know, it just looks better. So do that and just pull down. And there you go. We're starting off with this hot mess. Bring those back and then break off another section. Bring that down and that down. Don't forget you have to, your heat protection. I actually did not spray at the bottom. I completely forgot. And I have my heat protection right here. So again, I'm using the Tresemme Thermal Creation. Just spritz my hair and get it going. And do the same process that I did before. Okay, and now I'm working with the last section. Make sure you part your hair the way you want it to be part before you put the heat protection spray. Spritz it. One. Let it settle real quick and go ahead and start doing the same thing again. I'm working with for now so I'm gonna grab my living proof dry voluminous bliss and I'm gonna just go to town with this you know volumize my hair a bit because I need it kind of fluff these curls out because you know, this is not what I'm going for I'm not going for tamed I'm going for untamed look and on the top, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a big a regular teasing brush and tease the hair on my curl. Cause it's pretty it's pretty flat right now. And we'll tame that itself too. So I'm gonna just do this all around on the top. Once I have all this craziness going, I'm just gonna kinda brush it down a bit. And go like 
again with my hands, kind of just tame everything again. Not really tame it, but kind of just bring it all down. And this is the final look. I finally figured out how to curl my hair with short hair. I'm still trying to figure out the different styles. This is more like just basic curls. I mean, I kind of want to go more for the wavy look, but this is just how I've learned and it's worked for me from now. I'll keep learning. I haven't had short hair for such a long time yet, so we'll see how that goes. But hopefully you'll enjoy this video and I will see you on my next one. See you